What's good, everybody? I'm Brandon. Hey, bro, today I'm about to do another video from ASAP Science. This one right here is titled THC versus CBD. What's in your weed? Yeah, y'all requested it, so don't trip you now. I got y'all. Bro, I don't even feel right reacting to this video without being faded. I'm about to go smoke real quick. Your boy about to get faded with that THC. You know what I mean? And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to react to this video. Let your boy get faded first. You know, it's only right. We talking about weed, my dude. It's only right I'm faded to talk about weed. So I'm about to go take a little break, get faded, come back, and we're going to react to this. All right? Before I do, though, make sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what y'all want to see me react to next. I feel like y'all requested this just because y'all know I'll be hella faded. You know what I mean? Y'all know I've been getting faded. Bro. No cap, I'm going to keep it all the way a thousand with y'all. No cap, bro, I've been getting faded every day for at least the past month. I've never, I have I have little moments in my life, well, for the past about, I don't know, maybe a year and a half. I have some moments to where I might get high for like a month every day straight, and then I'll take a little break, and then, you know what I mean? And then I do it at a moderate pace, and then I go back to getting high every day. Like, you know, and right now for the past month, it's just been that time, bro. I just been getting hella high every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm faded all day, every day. No. I just usually been getting high at night. So maybe it's like once a day. Sometimes it's been twice. For the most part, it's been once a day. And it's nighttime right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go get faded and react to this video. But anyway, I'm ready to do that. I'm going to come back and we're going to hop on into it, bro. All right, y'all. I'm back. I'm not hella faded. I decided I wasn't going to get hella faded. I just decided like... I'm going to be cool. You feel me? I'm cool. I'm chilling. You know what I mean? I'd rather chill. I don't want to be hella faded. I've still got like a, a, like two more videos after this one. I don't want to be hella faded. You feel me? But anyway, um, I'm ready to hop on into it. Let go. Everyone is talking about CBD and THC, which are two important chemicals found in marijuana. Mm. With marijuana legalization becoming mainstream, CBD what is the actual is cool, difference though. between CBD and THC? CBD is Inside cool. you right now, there's a biological pathway that out body called high, the endocannabinoid system that helps regulate your mood, appetite, memory, and pain sensation. THC and CBD, though, hijack this system. This is the chemical structure of THC, also known as tetrahydrocannabinol if you are feeling fancy. And this is the chemical structure of CBD, also known as cannabidiol. What you may notice is that their chemical structures seem almost identical. They have the same molecular formula, which is C21H30O2, and both of their masses clock in at 314 grams per mole. But there is one extremely so important structural difference. Where THC contains a cyclic ring, CBD contains a hydroxyl group. And this difference in biochemistry actually controls whether or not you feel high. In order to fully understand oh, why, you need sense. to first know about the CB1 receptor. In your bro, unstoned, this is sober science, body, bro. your CB1 receptor is affected by a neurotransmitter hella called science. anandamide, which controls generation of pleasure, motivation, and feeding behavior. In your unstoned body, anandamide is released after exercising, and it's what causes a runner's high. THC's oh. structure is so similar to anandamide that it fits in perfectly to the CB1 receptor, therefore causing you to feel high. CBD, Which on the is. other hand, because of the hydroxyl group, is different in shape and does not fit into the CB1 receptor, therefore it doesn't make you feel high. But yeah, CBD, CBD does bind to other receptors high. in your cannabinoid system, affecting you in other ways. A lot of excitement came around a 2011 study CBD. where a few CBD dozen chilling. people with social anxiety disorder were asked to speak in front of a large audience. CBD some were given you, yeah. CBD, some were given a placebo. Those who were given CBD reported significantly less anxiety. Yeah, there are also many animal studies showing CBD's anti-anxiety and anti-inflammatory properties, which can explain why some people say it helps with their anxiety and with chronic pain. Research is also discovering that THC can actually aggravate psychotic symptoms, while yeah. CBD, on the other yeah. hand, may help with psychosis. Yeah. So what happens when you consume them I'm not at the a same paranoid time? high though. One study I know found some people that due that to are, CBD's bro, biochemical shape, tripping. it can actually bind to the CB1 receptor and turn it off in a binding pattern known to biologists as allosteric inhibition. This means that CBD actually makes the THC unable to bind as well and therefore decreases how high you feel. 
If you vaporize marijuana with 25% THC and 0.1% CBD, you will feel high, oh, as yeah. the THC is going to bind to the CB1 receptor with little interference from CBD. If you consume marijuana with 25% THC and 12% CBD, this more CBD will inhibit the THC from binding to the CB1 receptor, decreasing THC's effect and leading you to being less high. Mm. Where marijuana is legally sold, likely they will indicate what percentage of THC and CBD is in the product you are choosing, which will help you to understand the effects it will have on your body. In the end, THC is a chemical found in marijuana with a chemical structure that makes you feel high. CBD is a chemical found in marijuana with a different chemical structure that doesn't make you feel high, but it can affect your body in other less obvious you ways. Be there is CBD. still conflicting research and a lot more to understand about both chemicals. With more states and countries legalizing marijuana, hopefully increased research can uncover more details about how these two chemicals affect us. Because weed is now legal in Canada, we created a new series called Stone it's not Science, just legal in where Canada, we make comedians get high too. and try to explain complex science concepts. Oh, Our that's first episode lit. is about the respiratory system, so click here to watch it and let us know what you think as we continue to evolve this new idea. Bruh, I wanna go watch. <laughs> I wanna go watch. I'm trying to see some high scientists. Tell me that would be lit, nigga. Tell me. Watching some faded scientists would be lit, bro. <laughs> anyway, this is a good video, man. Good little video. Thank y'all so much for suggesting. I haven't done ASAP science in a minute. I mess with them heavy, bro. I mess with them heavy, man. Yeah, I'm chilling. I'm I'm big chilly right now. Uh, let me know what y'all thought down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace.